This is Obsidian. Obsidian is not a notes app from a Silicon Valley megacorp. It's not a proprietary web service that can go down one day and take all your work with it. Obsidian is really just a folder. And what sort of weird database files are in this folder? Text files. Lots and lots of text files. But hey, what about these other folders? There must be something weird in there, right? Nope, just more text files, maybe some photos. Unlike most of the trendy note-taking apps of the day, Obsidian differentiates itself by being a bit old school, and in that way, timeless. See, if you take a bunch of notes in a web service, forget about it and stop paying, and come back in a few years, who knows if you'll be able to do anything at all with those notes. Maybe you won't even be able to get to them since the company hosting them went under. The notes I take in Obsidian are just text files, and as long as there are computers, text files will work everywhere. Even today, Obsidian's use of text files means my notes are already totally portable. Here's my Obsidian notes in Visual Studio Code, or Nova, or Ulysses. None of these are Obsidian, but they all understand what Obsidian is doing. Obsidian has a ton of features, and there are absolutely things that these other apps won't be able to replicate automatically. But at the end of the day, it's all about text files inside of folders, and those can go with you anywhere. There's no DRM locking you into Obsidian, it's just a nice front end for a universally accessible back end. There are many other reasons you may want to use Obsidian, but it's essential to understand this fundamental concept behind the app first. Check out Obsidian today at obsidian.md.